Now I'm reading to you from the scripture. This is Luke 8, 2 and 3. Please go open it up and look with me. And here we're going to read about women that, that Luke, the writer, is going to name the ones that Jesus loved and that traveled with him. Now here we go. And also some women, Mary, who was called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had been cast out. Wow. Don't think she hadn't made some mistakes in her life. Don't let, don't, your mistakes are over and gone with, don't let them hold you back. And guess who's next? Joanna, now you know why you hear that name, the wife of Chusa. Chusa was Herod's chief steward. Wow. So she's from within the palace, is now traveling with Jesus. And she's wealthy, as was Mary. Then who's next? Susanna. Susanna. Wow, you've heard the name Susanna. It comes right from the scripture. And then the Bible continues, and many other women who were contributing to Yeshua's ministry, comma, catch this, and the disciples' support, Wow, comma, out of their own private wealth. Isn't that amazing? When the men, the fishermen would come to Jesus and then they would get confused or discouraged, they'd go back to fishing. Not the women. They put all the money right on the line. They didn't vary. They stayed with him. They were at the cross. They were in the upper room. These women were great women. Boy, if I ever, which I don't think I will, have another daughter, I'd name her one of these three names. Now listen, it was a big deal. And I want you to know these wealthy women understood their calling and valued the Lord's fellowship and commitment and time together. Most three valuable things you have are time, well, let's say four are time, attention, energy, and focus. And they gave all that plus the money to walk with the Lord. Can you imagine? It was Jesus that brought women to such a new level because the Jewish laws would have forbid this. It's interesting that the disciples in the other gospels don't talk about this. It took a, a, a physician that probably had converted a Greek and to talk about the women. Wow. Does that encourage you? Can you imagine? And I want to say one other thing about women here just for a minute and how important they were in ministry. And how, Can you imagine they were supporting these disciples? Let this touch your heart. Who did Jesus first reveal himself to after the resurrection? I think that's a great question. But I'll tell you, Mary Magdalene, that one in, right there in Luke 8, 2. She was the leader because she's mentioned first. Jesus revealed himself to her first. Now, sisters, believers, listen and be encouraged. Don't let anything hold you back from the high calling of walking with the Lord, serving him from your wealth in your high position. Are you listening to me? I hope you hear me. Boy, does the Lord need those women in this day and age and in this time. Spend your time and your focus and your attention and your energy and your means, your wealth upon the Lord. 